Drawing this watercolor orange in Procreate is easier than you think, and if you follow my tutorial step by step, I promise you, you can draw this. Before you start drawing, please turn on the color palette from the description. And now, let's start. Let's create A4 canvas from Procreate. And here's the color palette we are going to use. First we are going to do the sketch, so we can take any color. I'm going to take this grey one here. And now let's talk about brushes. I'm going to be using here my watercolor brush set. It is available on Gumroad, you can check it out, link is in the description. But if you don't have it, don't worry, you can use other brushes that are already in Procreate. If you are on my Patreon, you can use any of those brushes here, from my watercolor brushes there. And if you want to just use Procreate brushes, go to Painting, and I recommend using any of those brushes. So now let's go and pick the brush for the sketch. Let's go to Sketching and pick 6B Pencil. My brush size will be 41%, and I'm going to draw an ellipse like this. I'm holding my pencil on the screen, so now I have a nice ellipse, and now we can draw a smaller ellipse inside it. You can use here this edit shape to adjust the points to make it look better. And now let's draw the bottom part of the orange. And now we can draw a circle inside of the orange, like this, small one. And going from that, we are going to draw pieces of orange. Simple triangle shapes like this. And by the way, this sketch is also attached with the color palette file, you can download it if you want to use my sketch. But I recommend you trying to draw your own orange. It's very easy and simple shape. Okay, my pieces are done, I'm just going to erase those lines here. And now we can draw two small leaves here on the side. Now I'm just going to use the arrow tool to move it on my canvas, make it a little bit bigger. And now let's go to the layers, and we're going to change the blending mode of this layer. Let's tap here and set it to multiply, and let's turn down the opacity to 39%. Now we're going to import here a paper texture, to make this look like a watercolor even more. Let's go to the actions menu, go to add, and pick insert the file. Here are my paper textures, you can also download them, or if you have another paper texture you can use it too. I'm going to pick here texture number 14. Let's rotate it this way. And now we have to change the blending mode of this. You can experiment and see what you like. I'm going to pick here overlay. I'm just going to turn up the opacity of my sketch layer. I'm going to set it to 58%. And before we start drawing the orange, let's change the background color. Tap here and let's pick this color. As you can see, now we have this paper texture here visible. Let's make a new layer, so we can start drawing our orange. Place it under the layer of the sketch. Let's take the first color for orange, this one here. And I'm going to use here my brush, Watercolor Basic. I'm going to show you how to use those brushes, depending on what effect you would like to achieve. So, you can just draw loosely like this. And then you have this very loose watercolor. You can draw shapes like this and color them inside. Or if you want to have a very clear edge of your shape, you can use the selection tool. Set this here to freehand and make sure the color fill is not turned on. Select your shape and now take the brush and you can just draw inside here. As you can see, we have a very sharp edges here. And now I also see that my paper texture is too strong. I have to turn down the opacity of this layer. So I'm going here, and I'm going to make it 52%. That looks way better. So now, let's clear this, and let's start drawing the orange. My brush size will be 
And first I'm going to color here the bottom part of the orange. Without picking the pencil from the screen, I'm going to color this whole part like this. Ok, so we have the base color done. And now if you want to add some more paint there, more color, we can go over it. This brush works like this, that now this color will be more intense. With every stroke you add the more paint and make it darker and more saturated. So let's add some more of the color here, like that. Ok, now maybe on this side a little bit. And don't worry, if you don't like this blotchy look, we are going to blend this in a second. Ok, let's start blending. Take the smudge tool, tap again on it and pick watercolor smudge. If you don't have my brushes, for this you can just go to airbrushing and pick soft brush. Ok, let me go back to my brush, watercolor smudge and with the brush size 29%, I'm going to smudge away those streaks of color make them softer and blend better. So with this brush I can either like smudge it away, move my pencil on screen, or I can just tap using the pressure and this way the color will blend even nicer. With this much I can also fix the edges of my shape, like this. Ok, now we can move on and take another color to paint another part of the orange. Let's take this yellow color here. And we can color just this part of the orange. Again, I'm trying to do it with one move of my hand. Okay, and now let's take this color here. And we are going to color those white skins inside of the orange. <laughs> For this let's change the brush. Let's take this one, watercolor fin. And here with the brush size 9% I'm just going to color those parts of the orange. And now my brush size will be bigger, 26%. And I'm going to color those empty spaces there still, the bigger ones. Ok, now let's change the color. Take this orange one here. And let's change the brush. Let's pick this one, what the color dark edges intense. And with the brush size 14% we can color the orange pieces. Again, let's try to do it without picking the pencil from the screen. If you're enjoying this video so far, please check out my Patreon where I have more videos like this. Link is in the description. Let's keep coloring the orange pieces. I find coloring of those brushes very relaxing. Ok, all the pieces are colored, 
And now we can make the brushes smaller, 8%. And we can add some more color in there. Do it in few spots like this. I'm doing it very randomly. We are just adding some more color here. Okay, and now we can add even more color by changing the brush. Let's take the watercolor basic brush and add some more color here, like that. This is again just random. I'm going to blend those colors in a moment. So now let's take the smudge tool and let's blend those colors together. If you want you can blend them completely or you can just leave a little bit of that watercolor effect there. For now this is enough, we can move on and color the leaves. Let's take this green color here and let's change the brush. Let's take watercolor fin and with the brush size 39% we can color the leaves. Just like before, try not to pick up your pencil from the screen. And now this leaf. And now we can go over it again and add some more color. Let's do it here where the shadow will be. Okay, and now we can add another color there. Let's take this one here and with the brush size 95% we can draw with it a little bit more on this side. Now we can smudge this, make those colors blend with each other. And now I'm going to add some details to these leaves. I'm going to take this color here. And with a small brush, 13%, I'm going to draw the veins on the leaves. And let's see how this looks now without the sketch. Let's turn off the layer of the sketch. And now we can use the smudge tool to fix those veins. 
make them blend with the leaf a little bit. My brush size will be 8% and I will smudge this going from the outside of the leaf, erasing this a little bit, but it still looks natural. And let's kind of go over those veins, so they will blend better with the whole leaf. Okay, now we can add some details. For this, we are going to make new layer. Let's change the color to this one here. And with a different brush, let's take this one, watercolor thin dark edges, with the brush size 30%. We can add some spots on the orange, making it more interesting. So I'm just going here, kind of randomly, along the edges of the skin. Just adding this color, like that. Let's blend this a little bit, not too much. And now let's take another color, this one here. And let's change the brush. Let's pick watercolor basic. And let's go back actually here to the layer of the orange. And here we can draw those spots on the orange peel. I'm drawing this on this layer because with this layer, with the color underneath it, this brush will react and will make those spots darker. Let's use the smudge tool to smudge this together. I'm just kind of pressing on those dots and they will blend away a little bit. This is enough, and now I would like to add some color variation to this orange. Let's make new layer for this. And let's take this color here, this pink one. Change the brush. Let's pick watercolor less water. And with the brush size 9%, I'm just going to go with it in few places on the orange. Adding this pink color there, making this illustration look more vibrant. If you are still watching this video and enjoying it, please stop now and leave a comment. Please write orange, your comment will help this video reach more people and also I will know that you really like this video. Thank you so much. Let's add this pink color here on the orange pieces too and now we can smudge it a little bit. If you think this color is too much, it's too intense, we can just lower the opacity of this layer. So let's go here. And I'm going to turn this down to 56%. On the same layer we can add some color variation to the leaves. So let's change the color to this blue one. And let's draw a bit on the leaves, on the shadow part. Let's smudge it away. Like that. And I think this looks already more interesting. Let's also maybe add here this dark color. We can just add some more shadow like this. Let's smudge it.
And also on the same layer we can add some light to the orange pieces. Let's change the color to this one and with the brush size 2% we can just mark the places where the light will be going on the orange pieces. So I'm just drawing small lines on all of the pieces. Now we can change the brush. Let's pick this one, watercolor fin. And let's draw a bit on top of those places. But as you can see, it's not very visible. I would like this light to be more visible. So I'm going to make new layer for this. And now we can see it way better. Let's draw some light on each piece of the orange. Next step for this illustration is to add some shadow under the orange. Let's make a new layer. Let's put it under the orange. Change the color to this blue one here. And the brush I'm going to use for this will be watercolor basic. With the brush size 3%, I'm going to add very lightly some shadow there. And now I'm going to make it more intense, right under the orange. Let's blend this a little bit. I'm going to use this smudge tool to spread this color around. To make it easier we can make the brush size bigger, 100%. Let me add some more of the dark blue color here, next to the orange. And I'm going to smudge it again. Okay. And now we can just turn down the opacity of this layer. I think this is a little bit too strong, so I'm going to make this layer opacity 85%. And now at the end, if you want, you can work on some fine details. So I'm going to take the orange color and I will go back to the layer of the orange drawing. And let's pick the brush. Let's take this one, watercolor thin dark edges, and with the brush size 27%, I'm just going to go over in few places, making just some small adjustments. And now I'm going to work on the leaves again. I will take this dark green color here and I'm going to go again on those veins.
and I will also add some more shadow here. And now I'll just smudge it. I'll make the bar say 16%. And now this illustration is finished. I hope you enjoyed it and please share your illustration with me on my Instagram. I would love to see it. And here is a special shout out to my big fan Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for being there with me. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!